now I'm seeing the so fresh and so clean gameplay. He's been grinding, man. He's been saying he's looking at uh, Spacey's legs when he's tech chasing. Yeah, I got to That's gotta next level. That, man. That's looking uh, at the legs. That's how you know. I remember whispers years and years ago, maybe like five years ago, of someone making like an app that's like a tech chasing like reaction point thing, what? which would be really useful because like I would, one of those. I would love to just be on my phone, yeah, and just be practicing studying the animations. Like, if someone could make that, Ooh, and then you get like a little circle pad that you have to hit like a quarter circle to do dash back out of crouch. Oh, okay. You don't get that tactile feel, but maybe that would work. You plug in. Uh, like just the control stick into the like USB port of your. You know how you can like detach N64 control sticks. Mm. You hook hook up one of that. So just a, it's just like a single little guy. Yeah, little that would suction work. cup onto your. Yeah, phone. yeah. This is crazy. So if someone if, makes. If this, you want to make money, I'll pay between one and five dollars for that app. Or oh, the app, yeah. I'd probably pay like thirty bucks for the stick. Like, if I, if I can just, like, jam it into my phone. Anyway, we had a Vic versus Australia. Josh, just Australia these days. Now we got an in-house SA in-region matchup. Homegrown classic. Catherine versus Tish Lord. I don't know how this usually goes. I assume Kath wins. Kath is a pretty successful player mm. at locals and the like. Princess Peach, Tish Lord on the Dr. Mario. One of the Doc reps in Australia. Very few and far between, but very powerful. Yeah. I was playing Tish Lord yesterday. He's looking pretty clean. Man, hard to beat on FD. Speaking of clean, oh yeah, he didn't mean to do that. If you saw his face, <laughs> uh, Catherine's a bit of a quiet achiever as far as Australian melee yeah, goes. Absolutely, she, she kind of shows up to every local and does her thing. And every major, she's kind of maybe getting a win or two. Nothing. No one, yeah, no one wants to run into her. Everyone's like, ooh, would like to dodge Catherine. Mm, yeah, I can't remember any like huge, huge wins she's gotten, but definitely like you know a, a seat or two above, you know, an upset yeah, or two here yeah. and there. And she's always a dangerous player. I think last big cheese she beat um, XP. There you go, XP 2K from Queensland. Yeah, good she was win. the winner of the Smash Sisters bracket at um, like one of the BAMs. There, oh, you, there go. you go. Back yeah. when we did Smash Sisters at BAM. It was uh, like the fee, isn't it? Yeah, it would have been. It would have been. I think I remember. Yeah, that was the one that Professor Pro was at. Ah, one of yeah, the last. One of the last great BAMs. Yeah, you might so say. True. Um, but yeah, Tish Lord. You're looking strong here. Uh, I would say one of the two notable Dr. Mario reps in uh, Australia, alongside, yeah. of course, Yetta 64. Yetta 64. Um, Yetta, though, not a Doc loyalist in the way yeah. Tish Lord is. I don't think I've seen Tish Lord play many other characters. <laughs> yeah. Whereas Yetta was playing Dargo, Mario earlier, stuff like that. Yetta? He was with the Marios. Tish Lord, though, he's going to be on Dr. Mario. See, Yetta took a game off Decker, and then game three went Mario. He took a game with Doc and then switched to Mario? Yeah, and I think Why game one was Mario as well, and then he switched to Doc one. What? Yetta is an enigma. Yetta is such an enigma he's, of a person. He's so much smarter than all of us. He really... I, like, people think, like, this guy's look goofy, this, this guy looks dumb as hell. Whoa. Yetta is an intelligent person. Crazy platform movement. It you was know, I just phase. found out, like, yesterday, or, like, a week ago, that Mario has one less frame of jump spot than Dr. Mario. And Luigi has the same jump squad as uh, Dr. Mario as well. Wait, Mario's got five? No, no, uh, Dr. Mario and Luigi have five, but Mario has four. Oh, Mario's got one less. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, interesting. So he's a bit quicker on like the aerial game, which is funny because like you don't think about that when you play Do uh, yeah, that's Mario. What, that's what Yetta was thinking. He's like, I need an extra frame against yeah. this mask. Okay. That's actually crazy. <laughs> Mario after beating him. <laughs> what a... There's some kind of scheme. There's always a scheme with Yetta. Anyway. Yeah. Kath up in this game. Alright. Uh oh. I High up B. I was gonna say, back air is kind of the, the Mario for as far yeah. as the beach is concerned. I remember uh, many years ago I watched a training session of Amada talking about this matchup, how to beat the Marios, and he was like, back air is your best friend. Yeah. They can't really beat back air. That's how he said it. Goes for uh, the other plumbers too. <laughs> yeah, all the plumbers lose to Peach back air. She put the hips on him. Yeah. A lot of a lot of the top tiers have a move that the plumbers just cannot beat. Yeah, everyone's got one. Fal Falcon Nair. Captain Falcon's there. got about twenty. Yeah, he's got <laughs> all, all the, any aerial basically. Um, you know, Fox back air, insanely back hard air. for plumbers to beat. Top three move in the game. Absolutely. This is going to be crazy clutch if Tish can pull this off because like the second forward throw starts putting in work. I was yeah. gonna say you he, can't can't be on the ground. He gets snuck under. He needs Catherine to pull a stitch for him. Yeah, that's to, the, to send it back. <laughs> that's the situation. That's the win con. This matchup's so deceiving because it feels like you could put the hurt on Peach, mm. and then you're in game and it's like, wait a minute, 
Why can't I? Why can't she be struck? How do I strike her? I can't say I've thought about this matchup really at all, but FD seems like an interesting pick. I kind of don't mind it. FD is like if you want to play for time as Doc. Yeah. I kind of don't really agree. I would say you want side plats because you get better combo extensions with other. Yeah. But like if you're really committed to like and you're confident in your pill timing, you can make this stage work. Yeah, I was gonna say I think it can work, but Tishlord might have to adjust a thing or two about the way he's playing. Yeah, this gets back here. Yeah. Mm, Could have forwarded off that, wouldn't have killed though. So yeah, turn ups aren't as oppressive as they are in maybe some other matchups. Yeah, you could send it back. They're still quite good. Yeah. Just anything to, to restrict Doc. It's a big commitment to have to keep a turn up, and you know, it's not. Exactly right. Like, is that a. I think I saw a funny face. No, 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 no. That's not a funny face. I don't see a funny face. It's one of the unfunny ones. Damn. She just did run up down smash, but it worked. Kath is like a very traditional peach, like. You know, down smash in weird spots, bully with aerials, like, yeah. whereas McLeod is like ultra modern by comparison. Yeah. McLeod's on that new school. Yeah, McLeod's on that new school grounded page, whereas Kath is, is hitting Nair, and you're like, damn, that Nair really do be hitting okay. This is it. The back has yeah, a little, a little too high. And K yeah, Kath knew it. She actually dodged it, the, the second one there. The okay. Third. F smash again. Slot. Putting the hurt on her this stock. If you can get a clean down throw. He can take it. I do like that reflector there. Just, just uh, create a bit of space. Do you get a forward air here? You do. He goes to turn around. That's not easy. Yeah. Getting the turn around on Peach. Tough. But, so he uh, does take a lead. Let's hope he holds on to it for his sake. If you main Doc, you have to be hitting those 10 out of 10 times. Yeah, you really do. It's one thing you want to lab, it's down for a forward air. It's killing off a or body throw. throw. Oh, this is easily Tish's Wait, play. Wait a minute, I this one's Tish, funny. This one's is funny. Is it a funny face? Oh, it, it's, <laughs> the, it's the funniest face. Catherine has to play the mini game of throwing it between the capes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, should I drop it here? Uh, she dropped it on RNG, so yeah. it doesn't have the hit. It doesn't have the hitbox. Yeah. That's so crazy that she can just lose it. Mm, she can, she has to use it or lose it. Yeah. So no more funny face. Very good for young Tish Lord. Very sincere turnups from here on out. Yeah, let's hope so. Honest turnups only. If such a thing exists. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. But yeah, this is uh, I'm hunting for a dash attack forward at the This is a, a, a meaty percentage for Catherine to be at the Tish Lord right now. This is all my uh, no, not quite. One more though. Absolutely. He tries to force a forward air. It's gonna be. Eats the uh, hit. Catherine. Ooh, that was scary. I feel like Catherine really should have yeah, grabbed ledge. I was getting nervous for her for a second. But tish, too far anyway. Quick dash attack forward smash again. She waited again. Down smash I mean. Oh no. no! That's worst case scenario, dude. That was a no losing the lead, losing the lead against Princess Peach off your own your own F up, your own freaking F up. Oh, she's looking for it. Yeah, now Catherine kind of just forced situation to the corner. There's out. She's kind of recover high and yeah, getting center is like so easy on recovery. Doc cannot go very high with anything scary. Oh man, I can't believe this game ran away from Tish Lord like this. He's really got a... No jump. 80, now you're at 80, Tish Lord. I like the wave dash back and forth though. He's trying to force a down smash. I don't know what the... the oh, that might be it. I don't know what the uh, plan of attack should have been, but I feel like that was not it. Yeah. Un very unfortunate. Could have had a, a real banger of a game three if things went a little different. But uh, Catherine moves on in the round robin pools. Moving on. Big round robin pools, these, these uh, big cheese. Quietly achieving, yeah, like eight people. Eight pool. people per pool, four pools per wave, two yep. waves. A lot of gameplay, which we love. We yeah. love a lot of gameplay. Love that. Love gameplay. I love, love the big cheese. This has truly become like the event of the year for Melee. I've been to every single one. I've never missed one either. It's, and I, I will go to every single one. It's ebon as hell. Uh, for as long as they exist. <laughs>